In this video, we are going to go over problem 4a in chapter 6. Alright, uh, let's read the, uh, the question first. The management of Giselle Corporation as A, I don't know what that stands for, is reevaluating the appropriateness of using its present inventory cost flow method. They request your help in determining the result of operations for 2017 if either FIFO method or average cost method had been used. For 2017, the accounting records show the following data. So there is inventory and purchases and sales. So beginning, you should note that there were 10,000 units at the and the, the amount was $22,800. And purchases that were made, right? Purchased. How much? $578,500. The units here is also important. And now we can see that these units, 225,000 units were sold. And this should will give you the sales revenue. All right. And this is your cost. Sales revenue. And this is your cost. And this will be your cost. And you have 15,000 units left remaining in your inventory. And what is the remaining balance in your inventory? That's one question to find cost of goods sold. Now we have to go and find the ending inventory. Okay, let's go. And you know that the how to calculate, how to calculate ending inventory. First, you start in with the beginning inventory balance. Beginning inventory, and you add inventory purchased during the month or during quarter. Okay, and it will give you the cost of goods available for sale in Korean is called 판매 가능 원가, right? The um, goods, cost of goods available for sale. 판매 가능 제조 원가, 판매 가능 원가. Okay. So, and then you have to deduct ending inventory. to find cost of goods sold. Uh, if you know the COGA, and if you know the COGS, then you can find the ending inventory by going reverse order. How do we do that? So ending inventory should equal cost of goods available for sale minus cost of goods sold if you just reverse this order you can see that this makes sense okay so we have this total goods purchased um, and this too will give us the coga here um, this amount and this amount if we add them together will give us cost of goods available for sale. For, for example, if we just put the numbers in this equation, it was what? 22800 was 22800 in the beginning and you add the purchased amount $578,500. $578,500 so it will give you the net amount C 
600 and a uh, $601,300. $300. This this is your COGA. Okay. Um then what about what about the uh, co total cost of goods sold? Hmm. Okay. How do we calculate that? Um, ending inventory. How many units are left here? We have to use this information here um, to to find ending inventory. Uh, we're going to use this fifteen thousand uh, dollars. fifteen thousand units. We know that fifteen thousand units are left at the year end. So using FIFO, it brings us at unit cost two point six five dollars right so ending inventory using FIFO is fifteen thousand units times two point six five dollars per unit and it will give us um three thousand uh, thirty nine thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars okay what about average cost method average cost method you have to find the ratio how do we find the ratio you do the coga over total units available for sale here <clears throat> these two numbers Um uh okay. Uh okay. Um ten thousand plus two hundred and thirty thousand dollars will give you the total number uh of units available for sale okay okay then we go here let's calculate the and what is the number 10,000 plus 230,000 will give you 240,000 um, total unit available available for sale so this is well the okay that what was the coga this number okay six hundred and thirty three okay and the units were two hundred and forty thousand so if we calculate this we find this number um two dollars and five point five oh five okay two point five oh five dollars now we know this what we are going to do is we're going to find the number of units remaining at the ending inventory account which was um two oh fifteen hundred uh, fifteen thousand units so fifteen thousand units times two point five oh five will give you give us the ending inventory amount which is thirty seven thousand five hundred and seventy five dollars okay this is using FIFO this is using average okay um, now we have calculate the ending inventory now we have to do what find cost of goods sold find COGS so under FIFO, we know that the number, uh, the cost of goods available for sale is 601-330, okay, COGA is 601-330 less the ending inventory which is 
3.9750 and it will give us what a five six one five five zero then what about average average um, the COGA will be equal but the ending inventory will be 37575 um, okay and it will give us what 563725 dollars this question asks us to uh, determine the cost, wait, prepare comparative condensed income statement for 2017 under FIFO and average cost. Okay, prepare income statement. Income statement. So we start with sales revenue which is um, same under FIFO and average cost. Um, sales revenue was here, $865,000. All right. Okay, and then what do you do? Um, we less like sales discount than sales um, returning allowances, but we do not have those items. Uh, we do not have any information about those. So we just leave them blank and then we will reduce cost of goods sold. So how much was cost of goods sold? $561. Okay, we have to deduct this number. And if you deduct this number, we get gross profit, which is $303,000. Four hundred and fifty dollars for the FIFO and average cost. The number is three zero one two seven five. Okay, now that we have found the gross profit, we are going to have to deduct some expenses. Okay, what are the uh, the expense? It says the operating expenses were. $147 and the income tax rate is 32%. Okay. So we less operating expense and the number was $147,000. And it will give us the income before in income before income taxes okay income before income tax um, same thing the expense is a given number it doesn't change so income before income tax for FIFO is one five six 450 and for average weight uh the average cost is 154275 and we have to deduct income tax expense it is recorded 32% of your income before income tax so this is 32% Okay, which will give you fifty thousand and sixty-four dollars under FIFO, and forty-nine thousand three hundred and sixty-eight dollars 
on the average cost method. And then if you do that, we get net income of $106, uh, $6,386 and $104,907 for average cost. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for number A. And number B, if you go up, um, answer the following question for management. Which cost flow method produces more meaningful inventory amount for the statement of financial position and why? Um, for so B1, I think uh, FIFO has more meaningful, is more meaningful. Why? Because it reflects... Uh, the more recent cost uh, in the ending inventory amount. So basically using FIFO, um, more recent cost is reflected in your ending inventory amount. So um, using FIFO, it can be it, it can be said that it is more meaningful under management perspective. So um, for two, number two, I don't have I don't I didn't write number two down. It says which cost flow method is more likely to be approximate actual physical flow of the goods and why? Again, same FIFO. Why? Because the oldest goods are usually sold first to minimize the spoilage or obsolescence. Because uh, using FIFO, uh, products that were bought first are used first or sold first. first. So this will uh, more, be more likely to approximately, approximate actual physical flow of the goods. Okay. Number three, how much additional cash will be available for management under average cost than under FIFO? Why? So you see here in our income statement, let's look at the difference between the income um, tax expense, which is bigger. Uh, we see that the FIFO has bigger income statement, uh, uh, income tax expense compared with the average cost. Mm, okay, so the expense is higher for FIFO. Average cost has more money in hand. Okay, by how much? By this much. It will give you $696 more available cash so using um, average cost will eventually let you uh, use uh, have 696 additional cash available um, and that's it <clears throat> okay um, that's it for uh, this problem. So in this chapter, you should know how to calculate the ending inventory amount and calculate the uh, cost of goods sold and try to build uh, build income statement. And you should know this order also. And whether uh, which one it has bigger inventory under inflation? Um, which one has bigger or higher cost of goods sold under inflation? And those kind of questions may be in your exam question. Um, I'm, I don't know. I, ha I haven't taken this course under this professor, so I don't really know what it is, what is, what's, what's going to appear in the exam. But this uh 
this equation here is the key equation solving all, all question in this chapter so uh, so you should remember how to do this you should know how to go this way and the other way and that's it and you should uh, consider some tax um, yeah that's it for today and